Hey everyone, Duke Dog here from DukeDog.io crypto blog. Wanted to uh, give you a quick tutorial on how to set up your own um, auto bot, um, your own bot to buy a, um, a GPU or a CPU or anything that you're finding difficult to buy um, that is on Amazon. This is Amazon only, but it um, will allow you to uh, quickly automatically purchase an item that you've been trying to get and you're unable to get when you um, click on the website manually and try to go through the checkout process. So some of these GPUs and CPUs are obviously uh, hard to find right now, like the AMD Ryzen CPUs or the, um, the NVIDIA and AMD GPUs. A lot of scalpers out there trying to buy them uh, with their own bots and then resell them for a higher profit. And so this will allow you to get them um, to grab them or at least be on an even playing field with those other bots. So take you through this real quick. Um, I'll go ahead and stop the bot here and we'll go through the process. So just end that, close this. Okay, and the steps here are pretty simple. So Basically, all we're going to do is we're going to install Python 3.8.8, uh, the version of this script right now is uh, recommending that version. So we'll go ahead and do that. Then we'll run the install script. This is just a batch file that automatically will run and do the work to get it all set up. And then we may have to do a manual step. Um, every time I've done this, I've had to do this. So I'll show you how to do that. That the installer misses it's like two seconds and then what we'll do is we'll configure the json file what this is uh, the dot json file is a configuration file it's like xml sort of um it doesn't really matter but what it has in it is the list of cards or items or cpus or whatever that you want to buy and so that's how it knows what to look for it goes and looks at this file and then automatically scans through them to try to find um, if it's available and then automatically buy it if it's available. It also contains your uh, what you're willing to pay, so your, your pay range. So if you're you know willing to pay only like um, 250 to 300 for something, you can put that as the minimum and the maximum and it won't auto buy anything outside of that. And then some tips and pointers we'll go over because there are some things that you can um, poke yourself in the eye with if you don't use this correctly. There's some different flags that you want to use in your command line to make it run better. And so we will go over all of that. All right, so let's get started with step one here. So you're going to download Python 3.8.8. So just type in download Python 3.8.8. And it should be this first link here. And then you're going to find the download option. So I have, at the very bottom, I have Windows 64-bit. So this one is, is best for me. So if you're not sure what bit you've got, just go over here to the Start menu. Uh, Right-click on it. And then go to System. And then right here under System Type, it'll tell you 64-bit operating system. Or X, it'll say X64 or 64-bit. If it says x86 or 32-bit, um, then that's a 32-bit system. But if it says x64 or 64-bit, that's a 64-bit system. I want to go ahead and install the right version. So for me, that's the 64-bit EXE. I'm going to click on that. It's going to ask me if I want to install or customize. I'm going to go ahead and click on this box here at the bottom. Add Python 3.8 to path. And then I'm going to hit install now. And that's going to do the necessary installation we need. You don't need to do the customized version unless you're an advanced user and you know what you're doing or try to do something special. But this will give us everything we need to run the bot. Okay, now when that's finished, just close it out. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to this website. Um, github.com slash Hari Nagarjan slash fair game. 
And so you could probably just Google GitHub Ari Fair Game and find this link. I'll put the link in the uh, description though. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to releases. So you'll see over here on the right, releases. And then you're gonna download that, uh, the latest release. So this is source code.zip. If you're on Linux or another system, you'd use that one, but this is a Windows tutorial. So I'm gonna download the zip file. I'm gonna open it up. Oh. Come on. Okay, and you're gonna drag this fair game folder out here. Okay, so now you've got this fair game folder, .065. You're gonna open that up. And inside there, there is an install um, option. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and use the other one that I already set up. Okay, and inside that folder, you're gonna see an install option right here. It says install run first.bat. You might not see the .bat, depending on your Windows settings, it might just show the file name, that's okay. So we're gonna double click on that. And it's gonna do a bunch of stuff. You just hit enter to continue when it prompts you. It's gonna run the pipe env install. And you're just gonna wait for that to finish. Okay, it's gonna tell you that it was installed and press any key to continue. Go ahead and do that. And that'll take you back to the screen. And then you're gonna have an amazon.bat file. I've renamed mine. I'll tell you why I did that later. For the sake of this tutorial, I've gone ahead and made the default Amazon file. And so you'll see the same thing that I'm gonna see here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna prompt you for your Amazon login ID. Um, this is saved in a secure file. It's no longer saved in clear text like previous versions of this bot. So anything after 065 and after is secure. So you can put in your Amazon login. Then you're also gonna put in your Amazon password. And I recommend typing it kind of slowly just to make sure it gets every character. And you're gonna hit enter. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna to wanna to create a password for the file. So um, this is a password to protect your password, basically. Um, so I'm just gonna use a different one. Don't use the same one. It's just more secure to use a different one. And you have to verify it. Okay, and then this should start running. Um, it's gonna be using a configuration file um, in, that I have in a folder. I'll show you that in a minute. And I have mine set up to only look for 360, I'm sorry, 3060 Ti cards. So these are, this is a GPU that's around, you know, 450 to $650. And I, I only wanted to look for those and only new ones. And um, what, what, what happens is the script will auto launch your Chrome browser. And so, um, Basically, that's the, uh, the steps to get it working. So I'm gonna go ahead and quit this. And I'm gonna show you something you may need to do if you run into an error. You might need to do, you might need to run this um, install command, pipe env install click. It actually doesn't hurt you to, to run it anyway, just to make sure things are working. So you go ahead and run that, and that's going to install a, a module for Selenium. And once that's in there, you shouldn't have any problems running your bot. So um, it's optional, you may not need to do it. I've already done it, so I didn't need to do it, but if you run into the, the problem that says something about click not working, that's the command you use to fix it. Okay, so once that's done, uh, we've done we've done this step here. We've run the install script. We just did the manual in install of Click. 
Now we're gonna configure the JSON file where you store the um, items that you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this. We don't need the bot right now. And I'm gonna take you into the config folder inside the bot software. And uh, you can ignore some of these other files. I've, I've already created a few different files. But you're gonna look for this Amazon underscore config JSON. Now you might have, you might only have this template. So you might have Amazon underscore config template JSON. So what you wanna do, um, let me just back mine up here real quick. Okay, you wanna take this, J, this template JSON, you wanna copy it uh, to duplicate it, so just paste it. And then you wanna make sure it says Amazon underscore config, just get rid of all this extra junk. Um, dot JSON. Okay. So you want to make sure this is the name Amazon underscore config dot JSON. And then you can open this with any text editor. Um, so like notepads fine. And, and the way you want this to look is these are your products that it's looking for. And these are two different groups. So like this might be a group of sorry this might be a group of CPUs, and this might be a group of video cards. Um, or this might be a group of a 3060 Ti video card, and this might be a group of 3080 video cards. And you want to keep them separate because you don't want it to buy like ran a random one from this list. You don't want to mix them together. Um, because you're gonna have different minimums and maximums. You know, those products cost different things. So the way you do this is you go to amazon.com. Okay, I'm gonna put this next to my file here. And you're gonna search for, um, for what you want. So like, um, let's just look at like NVIDIA RTX 3080. Let's say you want a 3080. Okay. You're going to find the one that you want. It's so like, let's say I want this Asus one right here. 3080. Click on it. And if you look up here in the URL, you've got the product code here. So this is B08TFLDLTM. Okay. So you want to copy that and put that in here in between the quotes. So let's say you don't have multiple lists. You can just get rid of this list here. And then let's say that usually runs, I mean, these are gonna be overpriced right now. But let's say the usual price of that card is, you know, when it's being listed correctly, is like 550, to 750 okay so this is the minimum you're willing to pay and this is the maximum and so what's going to happen is the script is the bot's going to go look for this item it's going to open this page it's going to check if it's available for this price right not just any available because you saw there was really expensive ones in there these are the scalpers trying to trying to rip you off uh, it won't buy those because it's not in your price range. Um, you want to change this to Amazon.com if you don't use Smile. I use Smile just because it's the charity version. Now for that to work you have to have a charity set up and all that, but if you don't use Smile then just delete Smile. Just use Amazon.com. Um, either one will work if you have it configured right. So um, that's how you set that up. So we're just going to keep we're just gonna leave this as our JSON file for now. Actually, one thing. If you only have one list, change this group to one. Okay? Because you're, you're not putting multiple lists in here. We're just, we're just doing one item for a test. So it's gonna save that. And now when I run my bot, let's go back up the folder. Okay, and I'm just gonna run my bot now um, to show you how it works. The first time it runs, it's going to uh, prompt you, or each time you run it, 
it will prompt you for that credential password. This isn't your Amazon password. This is the password you use to protect your Amazon credentials. So that second one you typed in. And then when you run that, it will auto launch Chrome. It will go to your list of products. It'll start checking to see if they're available. And you can put them side by side if you want, so you can see kind of what's happening. So if it's not available, it'll check the next one, and the next one, and the next one. And so this is going through, I've configured this to go every half second. So it's quicker than waiting for the normal five seconds or whatever, because um, there's other bots out there. And you want to be competitive. So I'll go ahead and show you some tips and tricks to make sure you use uh, so you don't run into the same problems I did. I'm going to kill this by hitting Control C. Okay, a few things you want to be aware of in your start file. You'll want some flags here to help it run a little bit better. So uh, two dashes delay equals 0.5. We'll have it automatically run quicker, half a second per check. Um, single shot will make it so that it won't um, keep buying them. It'll quit this as soon as one item is purchased. So you don't, you know, uh, run up a big bill. <laughs> if you leave it unattended. No screenshots will also speed it up. Now you're not gonna have uh, logs to look at later if something goes wrong, but um, it, it does help it speed up quicker. And then shipping bypass, as long as your Amazon account has the default shipping configured, it won't go through that step in the checkout process, which is, again, just getting, it, getting quicker to the buy step. And so these are the flags um, I put in here to kind of optimize how it runs. Your, your thing right now, by default, will just say test. When it's in that mode, it's not gonna buy anything. It's just gonna run the bot and show you feedback. So you wanna make sure you replace that with the, um, the right flags and then save it so that it'll actually work correctly. You also want to go into your Amazon profile and look at your account and look for one-click settings. In the one-click settings, you need to have a, a credit card payment method, um, an address and everything all configured in there and enabled or else this bot won't work well um, or at all. It might just stall out if you don't have that enabled. So you want to make sure that's configured and turned on. If you're having other issues, you can go back to the GitHub repo and you can scroll down on um, the configuration. Uh, for example, if you're trying to fix a Python error or set up your ASIN, your item groups, there's some good examples in here. So here's like two groups, what it would look like. Um, and then, you know, the different thresholds for each one, make sure it says two on the second one and then max, min one, max one on the first one, etc. And so this also has a lot of other flags and options that you can use. Um, they're defined here. Be, be aware that the headless option will run it without displaying the Chrome UI, but you're gonna maybe get some problems with uh, Google challenging you with a CAPTCHA or Amazon rather, trying to use a CAPTCHA and then uh, the bot can't handle CAPTCHAs so it won't proceed. So um, you can, you can um, play around with these, uh, experiment with them. Um, the shipping bypass I use, right, like I said, it skips that step. Um, but if you have anything in here that's causing a problem, uh, you can always go back and look at this, this document and either you know, turn it off, take it out, and then experiment and see what works. Okay, hopefully that'll get you going and running with your bot. Until then, next time, check out dukedog.io. Um, for all your crypto needs and news.